Auto racing giant IndyCar and NBC Sports announcing a multi-year media contract. All races will be aired exclusively on NBC Sports starting in 2019. NBC Sports is owned by our parent company, Comcast. For more on the deal, we're joined now by IndyCar CEO Mark Miles and five times IndyCar Series race winner James Hinchcliffe. Uh, gents, uh, a very uh, good morning to you both. Uh, thanks for joining us. Mark, let's kick off with you in, in terms of this deal and relationship with NBC Sports. T to what extent do you continue to see impressive viewing numbers because of this live sports aspect in the media world? Well, we, we, we're on a roll now. The last uh, four years, I think we've had about a 40% increase in our television audience. But having NBC have the whole property and having more races than ever on NBC Sports, the rest on NBCSN, is undoubtedly going to be the next step. Talk us through the bidding process, because when we consider all of these live sports deals, everyone's now wondering how much do the internet names bid for it. Did you have discussions with the likes of, of Netflix, uh, Amazon, etc., cetera, or, or was this uh, just a straight uh, battle between the broadcasters? No, we, we talked to everybody. And um, I, for us, I think the day is coming still when the big internet uh, platforms will, will weigh in. At this point, there was an interest, but we're excited to have a direct-to-consumer offering for the first time on NBC Gold. James, how would you like to see the sport evolve at a time when all the excitement in autos is around electric cars and, and ones that drive themselves, frankly? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a fear for a racing driver, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Autonomous vehicles isn't our favorite thing. But no, as, as, uh, as the world develops and things like that, the technology develops, I think at the core, there's always going to be those, those motorsports fans that want to see the athlete, you know, really manipulate a machine and things that... A, a robot can't do, you know, and... Uh, do you think as, you could beat a robot on that track? I think I could. I think that, yeah, human There's elements, only one way to find out, my friends. Now, that I would watch. <laughs> Humans versus robots, that's a totally different deal. That we can talk about. James, We're working on it, James. <laughs> James, one of my interesting points when I've, when I've come to America and looked at sports, whether it's baseball or, or NFL, it's very U.S.-focused. There's global appeal, but it's not as global as something like soccer. It kind of applies to NASCAR as well, when you see the global appeal of Formula One. Do you think NASCAR uh, and a partnership with someone like NBC can help you expand the horizons to become a, a slightly more global sport than you already are? Well, I think, I think one of the benefits that we have uh, in IndyCar is the, the, the multiculturalism of the drivers. You know, we, we have guys from all over the world. Uh, one of our engine manufacturers is Japanese. Um, we're a little bit more global in that sense. We have partners from all over the world as well. So as we expand, you know, our footprint here in the States with this deal, I think that does, you know, give us a good platform to expand globally Careful. as well. Careful. They're going to start saying we want IndyCar to be U.S. made and operated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, you know, this should be emblematic. This is such a huge event, the uh, big race, obviously, next year, the Indy 500. And, and you guys own that Speedway, correct? And op also, op uh, how how is that doing in terms of the turnout? I mean, that's, again, one of these instances where in the past, hundreds of thousands of people would turn out. Uh, how do you continue that popularity? Well, it's, it is continuing. In the last uh, four or five years, the ticket sales have been on the, in, on the uh, increase. In fact, we had 350,000 people for the race at our 100th anniversary in 2016, and still over 300,000 last year. So um, it is the single largest attended spectator event every year in the world, and it's growing. And I think with NBC's special ability to make a big event even bigger in sports, it'll be more clear to people that it's a phenomenal event. And can we broaden uh, the type of viewer as well in the States? Me, can you broaden the type of viewer as well moving forward? Yeah, how, I mean, especially the younger generation. Well, how do you make sure they're watching? That's the goal with everyone, right? I think, I think a big thing for us with this deal is uh, the added content, ancillary programming, sessions that have never been broadcast before are going to be broadcast, whether it's online or, or through the gold subscription program. And the more content you generate, we're in a, we're in a content hungry society right now. So as we get into this new deal, we're going to be generating a lot more, uh, utilizing technology, u utilizing things like apps. We're exploring VR opportunities and things like that. Yeah. So we're like everyone else. We're trying to stay ahead of the curve and guess what the next thing's going to be. James, you did Dancing with the Stars. I did, well. did. Yes. How did that go down with your colleagues? <laughs> Uh, so I think they all had a lot of a lot of good jokes planned for after the first show, and then on the first night we actually had the highest score, and they all texted me like we were going to make fun of you, but genuinely that was that was pretty good. So I don't know what to say now, but uh, it was a it was a unique experience for sure. It's impressive. I tried ballroom dancing once. It was a debacle. I, re I realize you must be very a coordinated person, not only to operate that race car, but to pull that I mean, off. As I, well. I sit for a living, so it was very surprising <laughs> to all of us that uh, we made it that far. Mark, yep. real quickly, you mentioned. Uh, 
uh, I don't know if it was jokingly earlier, that maybe you could see something where you have autonomous cars racing uh, once the humans are driving. Is that really a possibility? I don't see it in our plans for racing, but we are kind of beginning to work on whether we can develop an autonomous Indy car for lots of reasons. One could be just to get attention for how well he would do against it, for example. It could be promotional as we, as we go around the country and draw more attention. What happens if he loses? Well, then he'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll unplug the battery. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Easy way to get around it. Gents, thank you very much for, for joining us. Mark and James, uh, pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.